Hey guys, Antrodom here, and welcome back to another Minecraft video. And today, I'm going to be showing you guys a one command lock creation in Minecraft 1.9. And that is specifically Death Swap in Minecraft 1.9. Now, this is a one command lock creation that I actually did a lot of modification to off of the original. But if you guys want to see the original, be sure to check out the link in the description below. And for those of you who are unaware of what Death Swap is, it's a game type that Seth Blank came up with quite a long time ago and he actually created a schematic file for it, but I don't think it works in modern versions of Minecraft, where basically, when you start the game, the two players get sort of swapped to random sides of the world map. And then, at random time intervals, the two players will swap each other's positions, so the idea of the game is to try and cleverly kill off the other player by causing something to happen when they get swapped to the position that you were at. So, what I wanted is I wanted to find a version of this that would work with one command block so that you could set it up in any world that you wanted and I did find that and again check that out in the description below but I did a lot of modification to it I think I something did something like tripled the amount of um the amount of code that was in there. So let's go ahead and let's drop that code in here. You guys can find my setup for the code as well in the description below. And if I go ahead and I hit always active, Mike is going to get consumed by that, but that's going to be kind of hilarious. So yeah. All right. This is death swap right here. The fact that the timer's on the right side is something that I'll explain in a little bit, but by default, that's actually not there. So let me go ahead and let me, uh, let me go ahead and let me turn that off. So set display sidebar. So there we go. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start up the game here and I'm going to show you guys how it works. And then I'll get into the technicalities of the thing. But what's actually kind of cool is when the game starts up, it shows like a little credit sequence here and you can actually click on all of these. I only added my name because I did some modification and Seth Blings because he made the original death swap. So obviously I think he deserves some credit there. And then it, it you know, displays how the game itself actually works. So when you start up the game, you can have as many people on the server that you want actually, but the two players that are closest to the command block enclosure are the ones who will be selected and everyone else is going to get put into spectator mode. So bike rider over there is going to get put into spectator mode and he could teleport to us at will just to spectate the game if he wants to. So yeah, let's go ahead and let's right click to hit start game here and there we go. So as you can see here, uh, if I go ahead and I open up my F3 menu here, I am 15 million by 20 million blocks away from the spawn point. So there's no way that I'm ever going to run into any bit of terrain that has ever existed ever. So yeah, I'm not actually going to play the game here real quick. Maybe Mike will try and kill me off or something like that. But I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to show you guys how the game selects when the players are going to get swapped. So let me go ahead and let me do... Oh god, he is actually going to try and kill me. So if I go ahead and I do scoreboard, objectives, st set display, sidebar, and swap time, you're going to notice that there's this timer that is set on both of us that is going down. And uh, the reason why it's subtracting from both of us has to do with how the code was originally set up. I just didn't feel like changing it. But anyways, every tick, that number is being subtracted from one of us here. And when one of us reaches zero, it's going to swap us. So you can see right now it's going to swap us up and, oh, okay, I don't know what Mike was doing there. But anyways, it just says swapped. You hear a little noise and then the particles rush in and stuff. And I am now in the position that Mike was in beforehand. And as you can see, the swap timer on the right side has selected a new number for both of us and it is subtracting that number. Now, the amount of time that it will take between swaps is actually completely random at least as random as you can make it in game because obviously you can't make perfectly random you know in Minecraft but the way that I set it up is if I go ahead and I change the sidebar here to timer there are that many armor stands at the spawn point where the command block enclosure is that all have their own number and when the swap actually happens the game sort of like has to randomly select Oh my god, Mike! Mike! I'm going to kill you, Mike! Mike! Wait, 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 I can do this. I don't actually know what the timer's at, as you can see. So, okay, can, can I- can I kill Mike? Um... Uh, let's let's see if I can do this here. But yeah, so the area in the beginning basically randomly selects a time based off of one of those armor stands. So that's pretty cool. Oh god, there's no sand near here. I could make this so easy. Okay, um... Um, I have an idea. Okay, let's- let's do this. Let's do this. Maybe this'll work. Maybe this'll work. Okay, so yeah, 
So the armor stands at the beginning of the map will randomly determine what the timer is going to be. So let's actually, well, I don't want to set it the swap time, so I'm just going to clear it because I don't want Mike to know exactly when he's going to get teleported. But yeah, as you can see, there's a lot of enjoyment that you can get out of this game because like, you know, you, you don't know when the other player is going to get swapped. And yeah, so, okay, I'm just, I'm just going to, you know what? Actually, I do want to know. I do want to know. Oh God, no, no. I don't want him to know when he's going to get teleported. Huh! Okay, here we go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm so cheap. <laughs> and what's actually cool is if you right, if you uh, tab in game, you can actually see each player's individual health. I pulled a little bit of a cheap move there, and I jumped into the lava right when I knew the swap was going to happen. You're not going to have that luxury in game, but I thought it was hilarious nonetheless. So I think it's actually a really interesting sort of like mechanic to be able to hit tab and see the other player's health because then you're just sort of like thinking to yourself like, yeah, I'm going to get him, I'm going to get him, I'm going to get him. No, I, 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 I got you, Mike. I got you. However, when you spawn, you actually get three seconds of resistance. So that means Mike just didn't get out of the lava in time. He could have too, and he didn't. So yeah. <laughs> so anyways, uh, that's pretty much how the device itself works. Let me go ahead and let me see if there's anything else that I really need to cover. Um, whenever the players uh, wind up dying, it sets swap death to one, and that's what causes us all to get teleported back here. It's pretty cool and stuff. And then there's also this sound thing that basically like... What are you doing, Mike? I don't even know. I lost my train of thought, but basically, when we get teleported, that little sound value goes up, and when that hits three, or when it hits two, actually, is when the particles come in on us and stuff. It's a lot of really technical crap, but anyways, yeah, definitely be sure to check this out if you are interested. Uh, there will be, the code will be in the description below. So anyways, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's cool, yo. Um, but, wait, Tyler, get in here. I want you, I want you to get in on a game. Yo, yo, okay, yo, yeah, yeah, I, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna own you. I'm gonna own you, okay? Okay? You, you don't know how I'm gonna own you? I could just kill you off right now. I could. I, I totally could. Oh, wait. I have an idea. Uh, wait, no. If I punch wolves, actually, it's going to make them mad at me and not at you. Okay. But anyways, guys, that's pretty much how it works. If you want to destroy the machine, there is a little button to destroy it. So, yeah. Anyways, so I hope you all have enjoyed this video. My name is Ants Venom, and I bid you all farewell. Thanks so much for watching.